Yo, what is going down, Supreme Dream Team? It's Mr. Rekar over here, and he has a little sidecar, a tiny little side buggy made possible by Scrap Heap. No, no, not 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 Scrap Heap. Um, Scrap Scrap Hook. Jeez, I can never get Homie's name right. Um, I'm not using 100% of the parts. Uh, there is a version that does use 100% of the parts, and I'm going to show you that um, in the later half of the video, but he's pretty easy to make. Um, obviously, we're playing off the junkie on theme over here, and um, and, and, and yeah, so, so, so they work really well together. Um, you can seat somebody here, and you can maybe have somebody seated on top of here. If you remove this, maybe you could have them dangling their legs off, but... I don't know. Does it really like fit somebody? Not in this configuration. Maybe I could have been a little more creative, but whatever is clever. Let's pull the lever and get that cheddar. Whoops, sorry about that squeaky scrack. Um, a sidecar typically is a one-wheeled vehicle, and so we have that one wheel over here. I love the fact that this wheel has spikes, and Rekar has spikes too, you know, on the tire. So it's just like, oh, perfect. And the height is perfect as well. Um, and full disclosure, this is made possible. This connection is made possible by one part of one piece of the paleo tracks. Uh, the piece of the paleo tracks that I'm using is the frilly part of the tail, and I'll show you that right now. This bit. Um, there's a lot of ports going on on both figures, but there aren't a lot of pegs, so you need a male to male. And so what you do is you pop that in right here. And then you can pop that in right there. If you don't have a Paleotrex, you can also um, purchase a male-to-male -male, uh, converter from Punchy's Lab. Again, I, I think YouTube thinks that I'm advertising on uh, on Punchy's behalf. I totally am not. Dude, he, he, Punchy's a super cool dude, and he his store is a great resource um, for aftermarket parts so that you can expand your play patterns. And so, yeah, I don't know why YouTube keeps flagging my videos and saying that this is advertisement. It 100% is not not being paid for this. It's just good folks making good toys and resources. And, you know, I just want to show love. Um, but yeah, like I said, uh, I just have the Paleo Tracks bit right there. It's the frilly tail I just showed you in a second. Um, I'll show you how to make this. It's, it's very, very, very easy. But let me bring in the other parts that we didn't use. And that is the front of the scrap hook car. Hey, I got his name right, scrap hook car. And so in order to get this to connect, oh, excuse me, take that apart. And let, let me just remove scrap hook right now. Dude, his, homie's name sounds like scrap book, right? But I guess that's not very junky on um, esque. Yeah. I gotta flip this piece out. Um, okay, there we go. There we go. All right. So what you want to do is you want to flip the um, the fists out. Then you're gonna get this bit in the front of the car and you're just going to plug it into the fist. I love how the colors are a great match for one another. This side though, unfortunately, because there is a tab on the inner part of the leg that connects, you see that tab right there? Uh, it connects this part to this part. And so when you connect it here, it's going to bulge out just a tiny bit. Whitey bulger out. You know Whitey bulger? Dude was a uh, part of the Irish Mafia, I think, in the Boston area. Boston. So in this configuration, this tire does not touch. 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 I was saying like Boston, and suddenly I'm talking like touch. Um, this does not touch the ground. In this configuration, these tires touch the ground, and uh, that in the back as well. And then this, you just utilize it for the same purpose. Uh, connect that all there. Bada bing, bada boom ski, right? Like that. Like, then that's kind of interesting too. That's kind of interesting too. That makes them look all like kind of futuristic Mad Max. Um, so I think that works. And so whatever you like, hey, it's your bike. And so you can have fun if you got all these parts at home. So let me tell you all how to make him. So like I said, these two front parts are just a scrap hook front of the car plugged in. Um, I mentioned that this is the frilly part of the, the Paleotrex, the male-to-male -male converter. This is very easy. This is just... Uh, so this is just the back of the scrap hook car with the front removed. The front would just plug in right here. So this is just the back. These are the shin guards or the guns or whatever you want to call them. You just plug them into the forearms and you have them facing forward. You know what? I'll leave them off so that you can see what the car looks like without them. But that's where they go. Um, I believe I had the tire over the tire, but we'll see. 
and um, for the little Hermes Mercury wing, you plug in one right there, and then there's a port, and then you're going to plug in the other one right there. So you got like double exhaust. That's really cool. The hook, not really doing anything with, so I just kind of plugged it back there. Um, let me see if this adds up. And then this Paleotrex part, you plug into the door. You plug that over here. Is that the clearance? Yeah, so you have to have it on the tire. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So that's how it looks without the forearm parts in the front. Yeah, and one could argue that that's a better seat, but I'm, I don't know. I kind of like them. I kind of like the fact that it's a buggy without a rider because the rider is the junkie on um, himself. And then we just got some extra guns, pew, 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 some extra pew, pew. Um, back here, we just have Rekgar's, um axe plugged into the back. Hey, looks like you got a little bit of thrust. That's kind of cool. Um, and then on the bottom of the handle, you have the toe part just plugged in upside down. Eh, didn't really have any place to put it. And, uh, you know, I wanted to use the bit. Could I have put it back here? Possibly. Is there clearance? Let me check it out. Um, yeah, I guess so. I guess so. There's, there's, there's a bit of clearance there, so you could put that. That's not bad. Then you could put the hook there, too, and act like it's something. Eh, that's not bad. That's not bad. And then we got that bit over there. And cool. We have this, like, armored up uh, buggy using all the parts. And uh, I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that at all, actually. And I got to reconsider what I'm going to use for the thumbnail. Hmm. I'll think about it. But what y'all think? What y'all think? You know, I, I personally like it. Um, yeah, I personally like it a lot. And oh, so for those of you who watch towards the end of the video, yo, I'm going to make a separate video about this. But so first of all, um, I mentioned Punchy, right? It, yo, so my man is a genius. He is a creative genius. And uh, not only is he able to execute upon his creative vision, like he, he sees a lot of things. He What I mean by that is like, I don't know, perhaps as a designer, you just kind of like think differently. And in one of, um, <clears throat> excuse me. In one of my uh, scrap hook posts, he had mentioned to me like, hey, I can't wait to see uh, you turn this guy into a leg. And I was like, oh, yeah, definitely, man. I love making like limbs and stuff uh, out of these characters. But I didn't really think about that comment too deeply until yesterday. So yesterday I was messing around with um, one of his parts, the um, the conversion piece from the Combiner Wars. Oh, I got to watch out so I'm not to scrape the paint. Uh, the Combiner Wars converter. Uh, to the War for Cybertron ports, and I, I I realized what he was talking about. I realized what he was talking about, and I'm wondering, and I'm hoping, if the new Junkions are secretly meant to combine. So, you know, if you think about the fossilizers, when they released Paleotrex, there was no information that P-Trax, Rack, and Wing were going to combine. I actually think it was an afterthought. I think later on they decided that, you know what, let's make them combine. And they corp incorporated that combiner head um, into wing finger. Or maybe not, because Rachdanite has that hole on the roof of the mouth that allows for the face. But I feel like if they had introduced that gimmick early, that, that, that they had teased that, um, the people would have been more interested in buying the toys and would have bought them early. But in this instance, um, there, there also is no, like, no one has said whether there's going to be a junkie on combiner or not. But look. This is what Punchy mentioned to me. He's like, I can't wait to see you turn it into a foot. But look at this. I've always wondered why he had such a, a big base. I know it's to cover the underside of the car, but honestly, they could have got away with like half if it's just the robot. But why do you need a big base? Because you need to support something with a big top, right? And then you have a central connecting port right here on the arms. Dude, is there some secret junkie on combiner that we don't know about? And, um, and, you know, I, and I was talking about on the, the, the unboxing and reaction that this guy is full of, full of ports and like, dude, I, I can see it. I could potentially see it like it connecting, let's say right here and right here to make like a solid connection. Dude, that can totally happen. And this can totally be a leg. And I'm going to riff on that in the next couple of videos. I'm going to connect them to either Copytron or Bruticus and do something, but I see what Punchy was talking about, you know? I see what my man was talking about. And um, also, here's another thing. If you put these down over here, they act as additional stabilizers, right? So, Punch, 
Yeah, thanks so much for that heads up. And if it if it turns out to be true, then yo, you saw it. You saw it before anyone else. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna keep that there, but still, still pretty cool, pretty cool. And I honestly do hope that they make a junkie on combiner. I would be over the mizoon. I'd be over the moon. Fly me to the moon and yeah, let me play among the stars, right? But we'll see. We'll see, gang. We'll see, gang. So yeah, for uh, scrap hook, for Rekgar, um, I'm Botbender, and uh, you are awesome, you, and I appreciate you always tuning into the channel. Always appreciate y'all's comments, sharing perspectives, and I appreciate that we've really done a good job in keeping this community and this environment um, a hate-free and static-free zone. Like, I, I don't mind if fools, um, you know, like are hating on me, but I don't, I don't want people to come into this community and like starting beef with people and like being mad negative and stuff. And I, I'm not cool with that. And um, when I see stuff like that, I either try to curb it or, um, you, you, you know, like, or, or I delete the comment if it's really negative. Um, I, I'll say I can count on two hands, the negative, com the really negative comments I've seen. And when I see those stuff, you get insta banned, you get hidden from the channel and, um, you, you know, and, and I remove those comments. And if I see people are squabbling over something trivial, I try to step in and be like, Hey, let's all be chill. Um, cause Hey, we're all just fans playing with toys and, um, yeah, there's no need to be drama sidle up in this. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, thank you all so much for watching again. I will, um, I will talk to y'all very, very soon. Okay. Adios. Bye.